So hello everyone, my name is Anitna Kazamin, for those who want to know my stage name, it's Anit Maya, and I am, I mean, I'm, I'm with somebody today, you know, she is special, you know, because I have not really, you know, interviewed somebody from um, this country, you know, <laughs> but I'm so excited to know more about, you know, who she is and, you know, what, what she's doing and, you know, how she has made it. If you are interested you know, in knowing about education opportunities, especially scholarships and studying abroad, please stay here because that's what we are going to be talking about. Thank you so much, Suma, for creating this time. You know, I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so, so much. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Uh, okay. you know, our, our so, my name is Namaya Josumaya. I'm also Ugandan. And... I'm studying from Indonesia, a university called Universitas Muhammadiyah Surakarta. I'm studying bachelor's in nursing. Wow. So why did you decide to do nursing in Indonesia, but not in Uganda? Uh, okay. So, um, after my senior high school, so after my form six results were back, I had performed really good. So I thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I really wanted some opportunities abroad. And I, for one, really admired doing nursing from a, young, a very young age. But then um, when by the time I thought about applying abroad, most opportunities were like most universities were closing and stuff but for indonesia mm. the scholarships were still on were still ongoing so i was able to apply mm. um so apparently i got to know about this scholarship from facebook actually so i used to subscribe from i used to subscribe to various scholarship links and so on so when you subscribe, they send you notifications, like if you're browsing through Facebook, you get some ads and yeah, so I was like, yeah, this really looks good and I applied. Yeah. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing that you're knowing an opportunity from Facebook and you're trusting it? Yeah, it's amazing. That's yeah. current. Wow, you are such a strong yeah. person, honestly. I mean, honestly, you know, from Facebook and taking it on and working out. You are lucky and yeah. Yeah. yeah, a combination of those two. Why? Because I was like, how did you know about Indonesia? Okay, mm -hmm. now I understand. So, uh, why did you finish your high school? That is uh, Central, Western, uh, Southern or Eastern Uganda? Um, where is Wakiso located? Is it Central Uganda? Okay, so yeah, okay, so it's central, yeah, it should be yeah, central. Yeah, so central. <laughs> I started from Light College, Katkamu. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yes, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Not at Wobblenzi. It's like college cut um, Wakiso Masulita. I know Masulita, yeah. I know. I, well, I have not been there before, but I've heard. Yeah. I've heard about it. Oh, wow. Wow, that's interesting. Um, So, what is the name of this scholarship and what is the Facebook group you subscribe to? Um, the scholarship is called International Priority Scholarship. International Priority Scholarship. Mm -hmm. But there is no Facebook group. It's just I had subscribed to some scholarship. To some links like there are some links that give out scholarship notifications and mm -hmm. this happened to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Within the ads. So there is no Facebook group. Apparently this scholarship has been closed for since 2019 because of covid mm. just like most scholarships so for mm. now they don't have a platform for the scholarship mm. like internationally for advertising they have opened it this year and the link is you know we, we've got to know from the university if you are in indonesia it's really so easy to know about it but mm. i personally tend to share to my whatsapp to my friends and stuff until they find another platform. Mm. Oh wow, that's great. Yeah. So um so if you know you can just you know uh send me the link then I can just embed it you know in the description box yeah about that scholarship you know it opened and when is it closing? Um this year 
it's closing next month on 20th. So 20th next month. Now. Okay, enough time for students to apply. Yeah, enough time. Yeah, okay. perfect. Yeah, thank you so much. So, what I want to ask about this scholarship is what are the best things of course i can go out or people can go and look for information by themselves but what are the best things you must have for you to apply for this scholarship so good grades of course you should have good grades in order to apply for a scholarship mm. um the other requirements you have to be with a passport a valid passport mm. so nowadays they only accept those in east african passports mm. so you should update to an east african passport Mm. And what else? Yeah, medically, you should have a medical report. Mm. Um, when I send you the link, you can see all the requirements, but the major requirements are those mm. grades, passport, recommendation letter from mm. your senior high school. Mm. Yeah, only that. If you talk about grades, what, what do you really mean? What is the minimum the person can get? Because, you know, this video is going to be viewed by even people who are still, you know, in their senior six, right? So they're like, okay, if I want to apply for this scholarship, I must obtain at least this, you know, these points. So what are the minimum? What do you think? So the minimum 10 points. From 10 points, at least 10 points. Okay, okay. So, and this... Um, the the good thing about this scholarship is that if you get, if you stopped in form four, mm. but you have a certificate that's like um, an equivalent to form six, mm. for example, a certificate for three years, for two years, mm. that's like a diploma. You can still apply for this scholarship. Wow, really? If okay. You have an equivalent, yeah. Perfect. Wow, wow, that, that, that's interesting. That's interesting. So, uh, is there any age limit, first of all? Yeah, there is an age, age limit for bachelors. It's up to 25. Okay. Yeah, still good. Yeah, still good. Still good. Still good. Yeah. Yeah. And just one more question. Of course, you know, we, we, we are all able to go and read this information by ourselves. But, you know, just to make things clear from the source because we are like source, you know, information, you know. <laughs> you know these things more than we do. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, do they cater for both arts and sciences? Yes, they do. Mostly in sciences, for now, there is only nursing and engineering, all types in engineering, chemical, mechanical, civil. Mm. That's all right. Mm. Elect and electrical, they do. Like. No agriculture? Agriculture, no change. Okay. But for arts, but for arts, there is everything: accounting, mm. um, IT, mm. management, economics. Mm. Mm. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. So, how many how many students do you, do they give per year? Um, I really don't. Let me see. On average. They give, yeah, they do give a lot of students like party. Mm. In different countries. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh wow, that's great! Yeah, well, you know, I'm so I'm so happy that I'm learning, you know, about these scholarships. You know, there are so many people who finished their high school; they didn't get the government sponsorship thing, and they're looking for for funding. You know, so if you know we get to know more about these opportunities and then we share it, I mean, it doesn't mean that all of them are going to get it, but at least you know. If there is somebody, the more people get it, if they are, you know, good hearted, the more they explore the areas and discover, you know, various opportunities that can benefit, you know, uh, various people. Because, you know, not all of us, you know, have you know, access to that information. We don't know much about various, you know, uh, opportunities. So if you get to know about them, you can definitely apply, you know, apply to them. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing. So um, the next question is, um, what is the main objective of this scholarship? Can you just, can you just summarize that? Like, you know, some scholarships are like, we're focusing on, you know, people who have that mindset of being leaders. What is the objective of this scholarship? So when I'm applying, I know that my interests must align with their interests. Um, so uh, just, to, just to say, the major objective, as I see it, is like to prepare people for the outside world. Mm -hmm. you know? So, 
like for me in my faculty also not my faculty my program study nursing mm. um you start going to the hospital in first year wow in first year you're already in the hospital so you like you study in theoretical and you have to go to the hospital and practice by the time you reach your final year actually i'm in my final year almost mm. done Mm. Like they've already prepared you to work in a hospital. Mm. So it's the same with my other friends from other faculties. So I'll talk about e electrical engineering. Mm. We do most of the things are practical instead of theoretical. Yeah, mm. something like that. Wow! So if you're applying for this scholarship, you should be well prepared for practical stuff, research, mm. and yeah, many things like that. Oh, that's um, interesting. Yeah, so another thing is that I think it's, it applies to most scholarships, I guess. Mm. Um, they will fund you fully, they will pay your tuition for as long as you, you have the required GPA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so every semester you have to go and, what is it, activate your scholarship. Mm, sign, so sign. If, yeah, if Renew. You have, like, above, ab yeah, above that GPA. Mm -hmm. and they can still find you. Oh, wow. That's interesting. And you are studying in English, right? Yeah, in English. So this university has um, an Indonesian scholarship and mm. it's from the government, but this scholarship specifically the one I'm on is from the university. So the government I can still share it, but apparently it has been closed for this year. Maybe it will be open next year. Oh. Yeah, so. but for this year, for the university scholarship, you study mm. in English. Okay, now I understand. For the government scholarship, you study in, in, in a different language? Indonesian. Um, you have to study Indonesian language for one year before you start your major. Okay, now I understand. But for this one as well, uh, international up, uh, international students can apply, right? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, please. Yeah, please share the. I uh, just share the link in case somebody's interested. Why not? Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. So you mentioned about funding. What do they cover? Flights, stipend, tuition, and all that. What do they cover? Insurance. Mm. Mm. And for the flight ticket, it only covers the return ticket. It doesn't cover like the ticket to go. Only the return ticket. Okay. Um, there is a monthly allowance, also medical allowance and books allowance. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. Is fair. Wow. Okay. That's great. I mean, you know, uh, they give you a return ticket. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't borrow money and borrow money and get that. You know, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the, the tickets for going there. You know, yeah. If um, if somebody's paying your tuition, you know, and just try uh, give give some money, you know, to eat while there, yeah. that's more than that. I mean, honestly, yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, the next question is, um, I don't know if you mentioned this. Oh, this is what I understood. But um, does this scholarship have a limit in terms of years? Do they are uh, like uh, fund you for a specific you know period of time, and do they allow you to go back to your home country in between, or they just you know let you stay in that country, Indonesia, until you finish your studies? All those years you cannot see your family. How is it? Mm. Mm. Oh, your, your voice yeah. is actually so low, yeah. Okay, how about now? Yeah, 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 better. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, so um, the scholarship is four years in total. Within mm. that time, you can go back to your country, but you find yourself, you find your ticket in case you want. Of course, we do, we usually have holidays, um, really long holidays, three months. Um, so if you want to go back to your country, you you can do some planning, but otherwise, why would you? Indonesia is really a good country and it has a lot to explore. Mm. The cost of living is so low. Mm. So instead of going back home, you can you can stay and enjoy. You go where you go to Bali, you can mm. go to Lombok, yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> but I mean, you, you might still, you know, uh, miss your family. And in case you want to go back to your to your home country in between, because it's four years, you know, maybe after two years, you want to go back to Uganda or to your country. Uh, do they fund you or do they give you the ticket or it's your responsibility? No, they don't. It's your responsibility. Okay. Okay. But trust me, um, if you come, you explore new stuff. Indonesia is diverse. Mm. It's, it's really diverse. Mm. It's hard. Maybe because of COVID, you've been limited to go here, go there. But before that, it's mm. a really nice country. So you can, you can be patient and stay mm. until you finish, just like me. So mm. yes, I haven't come back to Uganda yet. Wow, wow. But you are in touch with your family, right? Yeah. No, perfect. Do they allow you to do part-time job while studying? Oh, no, they don't. Oh, really? So apparently, the scholarship has that, yeah. Most of scholarships in Indonesia, or Asia, I will say most, like, they don't allow you to work. Okay. You just, yeah, you just focus on your study. Okay. Well, you know, I was in Japan, you know, and I got, I had this scholarship and I, I was working. I worked for four years at McDonald's. So I had the stipend money and then my something like, not a salary, but like a wage, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I had that double money per month. That's know. nice. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah I, I, when I was in Japan, four years, I was working. Yeah, I was working. So. Doing a part-time job is a good opportunity, but I mean, if they give yeah, you education, you know, you can always wait, you know, gain your skills and then do what you want, you know, when the right time comes. So in case you fail any subject and you are like, oh, I think I need one more semester to have the credits graduate, what happens? Do you lose the scholarship? Um, so, they still cut out for your stay, stay visa, but you pay for that, you pay for that because you need yeah. Okay, you put from your stipend. Yeah, you for that costume. Yes, it's not, so you have to read and make sure you pass. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. What the lessons you want by studying from Indonesia? So, about the lessons, really, that's a very hard question. <laughs> Try. Uh, so, um, the major lessons I've learned, personally, from my major in nursing, I've learned um, various techniques, how to handle people, how to do this, how to do that, because mm -hmm. I've always been comparing with a Uganda version and say, oh, so we do like this, I mm -hmm. have to do like this, oh, okay, so sometimes I have to empathize and do like this, sort of, sort of that. Um, so, another lesson I've learned, it's like, like, make life simple i don't know if that's a lesson life has to be simple um indonesians are really simple people there is nothing like okay this one is like that this one is like that so if you come to indonesia these people are really simple they live a very simple life so um and that has really taught me much about life everything has to be simple as long as you're happy